Okay, so what remains here is mostly smaller starter pots, but I'll just kind of go through. We've got some staghorn ferns. Here's a silver satin pothos and a bunch of small starter pot plants. Down here we do have a couple of nicer full baskets, six inch baskets here of the philodendron Brazil. And some other plants. Here are some um, eight inch baskets. This is a peperomia beetle. And then a Hoya Chelsea. This one's super hardy. And these ones are both um, on the list there. You'll see they're half off. I just saw this same plant at Pike's Nursery, like a little tiny pot for $25. So whoever gets this, this is a steal. <laughs> for I, I forget what it's like. I think I've got it listed for half off, so like $15. Um, and then we do have one, like I think it's an 8-inch pot. Uh, with the neon pothos here and then it also comes with the moss pole that's like four feet tall i think that's also half off this is a philodendron campos also comes with its moss pole here and it's a couple feet right now tall looks like it's already kind of pushed through the moss and is growing a new leaf this is the mini monstera vining up the cocoa mat uh, pole i made it here so that's a couple feet tall and more starter plants. This one's very popular, Monstera siltipicana. And like I said, a majority of these, if you look, like anything highlighted in yellow is half off. Here's another uh, silver satin pothos. And it is in, I think, is this one in? Oh yeah, no, that's in the... Uh, pond and soil mixture there. That is it. I am just trying to clear out as much as possible before I leave. I'll be gone for several months. So I also have plenty of soil amendments and can make up custom mixed soils, do repotting if you need. I also have LECA, pumice. I mean, anything grow media related, we've got you covered here.